Oh, that's a great start, huh? I got my taller desk with a taller chair, so somehow I've got my tripod, but the legs do not work on keeping it up, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how to get the, they don't lock, so I don't know how to make it or do what I need it to do, so. I don't know but okay I'm glad I'm not able to use it today because I want to show you something I am um, tired of trying to balance my tablet on my leg for my pattern so this piece is for my I uh, for my um, note 8 I film on okay and I thought surely there's one for the tablet that I could just slap on there and use it on this my side table and have my pattern so when i and that's all i got and this is a really small little one you just take it off of here and i'm sorry guys this one's gonna not be a long one so you might want to grab you a cold beer uh we're gonna be here a while and then you just hook it on there and then it has a thing that you unlock it and it goes really tall so I can put my tablet in there and um, no more having to fight the tablet to read my pattern which is really great because it's annoying after a while because I got a leather recliner and a tablet with no cover so it so that's the great part about that um, I'm trying not to touch the table because I've got y'all propped up pretty well I did get some finishes done. They're not fully finished. They're just making progress finish. I got the first page of the house done. And I had to fudge it a little bit over here. Because y'all, I can't count. I don't know what the deal is, but I can't count. And so, I just fudge it. And just hope for the best. Same thing. I'm doing, I started um, yesterday a year in chalk. Now, I don't know if there's cross-stitch polies, but they're going to come after me when y'all see this mess. I'm doing it on 14 count Ada and DMC thread. So, and this one's off too. You can see I got this too high. It's got to come down some. So, but I don't care. I'm going to make it happen. I, we're not perfect. Uh, you know, we're taught in quilting. There is no such thing as a perfect quilt. Now, a lot of quilters will say, yes, there is, because I do show quilts. Okay, us regular folks and crocheters, we have boo-boos, and we just make it work. So, anyway, I'm hoping to get January done, and I'm going to start February over here and kind of go from there. Um, I made a big mistake, and I wish somebody would have told me about this before I started. But I just grabbed a handful of this B-52. And I just grabbed a handful of it and not think anything. I found out the hard way that there's a difference between B-5200 and Bl Blanco. They're two different colors. The B-5200 is really bright white and the Blanco is like a creamy. And it's like, ugh, really? What kind of crap is that? So, um... Yeah, hold on. Um, I had a, something fall. But anyway, so I got that done. And then I had to, I went to Joanne's. Spent a hundred freaking dollars. Oh my gosh. I spent a hundred freaking dollars. Well, I didn't. My husband paid for a lot of this. But how do you get batting for a quilt? Because I've got to get that quilt out. Um, and then we bought the threads for the urine chalk. And then I found this. This is what I'm going to put my urine on chalk. It was on clearance for $5.97. I'm thinking it's going to fit. I don't know, though. We're just going to have to hope it does. Um, but I'm going to look how beautiful that is. 
and I'm gonna put the magnets on it. Um, it's I want it to look like Priscilla and Chelsea made it, you know, the cuteness and everything. But it's probably gonna look like a kindergartner got sick eating glue and made it. Cause I'm not very creative. I'm not when it comes to that kind of thing. I'm not a creative soul. I have a hard time putting yarn together, colors together. I have a hard time putting quilt colors together. And I have a lot of hard time with the crafty side of shit. I'm just like, let's do this. So, anyway. Alright, to the next. Oh, well, that dropped. I found on Stash and Load. This is where I got all this stuff is Stash and Load. Well, except for that platter, of course. But here's a piece of 14 count. Hand dyed. And it's made to look like sky. I don't, let me see if I can turn this off and see if y'all can. Is that better? Look how pretty it is. It's got blues in it. And it looks like a sky. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it yet. But I was like, for as cheap as I got it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And yes, you're going to see my armies. I got bigger arms. I used to power lift. And then I got married at 18 and kids at 19 and 20. So... They shrank. I used to be honking big. And then they shrank down. That's why you'll see this is not all the way around my arm. It didn't go all the way around because I knew it would. So, okay. I want to show you the next one I got. Oh, man down. I got this free pattern. It's a nutcracker. But then I got this off of Stash and Load. And what I'm thinking about doing is making patterns like this is my favorite section hold on um you know like the country stuff but what i'm thinking is i'm gonna make christmas ornaments for my family i do not celebrate christmas i think it's overrated and bullshit but i know my family would enjoy that um so i'm thinking about making some christmas ornaments for them and go from there um, my jam is Halloween. I love Halloween. I love the death, the skulls, the candy. I love Clarence candy. Woo! Amen. And then I found, I got this off of Stash and Load. It's the primary colors. Now, I'm not going to bobbinate this stuff because I'll show you in just one quick second. What time are we at? We're almost at eight minutes. Supermarket Sweep is on. I got to get going. If y'all don't watch the old game shows, you're missing out. And then I got this on stash and load. I told her to make me a grab bag of $20 worth. And because I need to get some thread stock. Because to buy thread, I have to travel 35 miles. That's the nearest city. Hobby Lobby is closed on Sunday to that whole Christian bullshit crap. Um, so I have to be at a store on Saturday that. I have to hit Hobby Lobby Saturday, or I have to find a store that is open on a Sunday. So, I'm trying to get my stash accumulated. But what I did is I went on eBay and ordered three by five bags with the, lay, with the white label where you can write on them. And I found this beauty at the dollar store. It's one of those magnetic lids that's magnet. And I'm going to store them, you know, in here. And that way I can have my floss all organized and I can make, look at it and be like, okay, before I go to the store, I need this color and I need this color and I need this color. Because I have current projects in the, in the plastic totes, in the plastic bins, but I want to be able to know what I have before I go to the store. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with buying a little extra here and there but i like to keep on a budget and i'm gonna try to hit ebay and get a lot of those lots those mixed lots and get some of those done so anyway all right so um i think that's it for today but uh i actually had a few people come and check out my videos from from uh, shouting them out I know the big people don't really watch me and I get that I don't care you know it's whatever 
y'all are y'all are famous in, in stitchers and been doing it for 30 years you know but uh one of my guys that i love to watch gerald he learned to knit off the grid needleworks or needle arts taught him to knit he's over there being a knitting fool i love it love it love it um i don't knit just because it's too slow crochet is easier for me because i can get it done and i've also been working on some crochet stuff but i've got to get a quilt done like sometime soon and get it going i've got it back here um I don't know if I can show, but here's the back. I found this at the thrift store. Gave it several good washings. Because you never know what's going on at the thrift store. You know what I'm saying? You don't know who's done what. That's why I bring my own linens to the hotels. Is because you just do not know what has gone on on that bed or on those linens. But, um, ugh. it's Day of the Dead pets. They're cat and dogs. And they're just skeletons. Because I love Day of the Dead stuff. I love stuff that is um, weird and unusual. I've got several baby doll heads that I want to stuff a light in and make a nightlight with. You know, just the usual kind of everyday stuff. So, all right. But um, that is it for today. I'm going to finish up my January. And I'm going to try to start on February. Or I'm going to start on my second page of... of the house and here is my dollar store grime guard dollar tree a dollar telling you what i don't want to pay eight dollars for grime guards no more when i know i'm with the dollar tree but anyway guys y'all take care have a great day spread peace and love kindness wherever you go take care